I'm here today to talk about uh, franchise opportunities um, and a little bit on the history first. Uh, I guess ultimately I was probably the first franchise owner of uh, the brainchild of uh, Randy Carroll back in the 90s. I had, a, uh, I had an epiphany and I realized that the only way to really make a good amount of money in this business was to own. And uh, we had a little book of business and I reached out to Randy and, and uh, who was uh, at Maine McConnell at the time in London, Ontario. And we, we struck a deal, we, we put a contract together um, and it was a very, very well-written contract based on the fact that I had as much input in it as, as he did. And, uh, and uh, we created another branch of Maine McConnell down in St. Thomas, Ontario with myself and, and another partner. And the stuff that we didn't have to buy to get a franchise, you know, we didn't have to worry about broker management because Randy came with it. We didn't have to worry about markets, which is a big pain issue today <clears throat> because Randy came with it. And uh, we started this little insurance brokerage. It's still there today. And we built it from zero probably to somewhere in the neighborhood of six, six and a half million dollars. If we're talking today's dollar, you could probably easily double that. So it was, it was a pretty substantial office and it was continued to grow after I left. I left in uh, 2007 to, to move on to, to run a, a large MGA from across Canada. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> when I found myself with an opportunity or at some time about three years ago, I reached out to Randy and said, he says, you want to partner again? And he says, what are you thinking? And I says, well, I'm looking for something to do every day or something different to do every day. And uh, so we started doing some stuff around AI and, and uh, we came to the conclusion that maybe we should dust off the old contract and see what we could do with it. We dusted the old contract off and um, we took it to market. Um, you know, we've had some, some great success with it. We've people who had different pain issues. A lot of times their issues would involve, you know, I want ownership and that just wasn't available to them. Um, <clears throat> we're looking for more commission and that just wasn't available to them. And with all the mergers and acquisitions that have been going on in the last, I guess, five years that I've been actually tracking it. <clears throat> and if, you're not, if you haven't really recognized all the mergers and acquisitions, you're not paying much attention. But the <clears throat> what you found was a whole bunch of seasoned professional insurance brokers out there that weren't exactly happy with the cards that were dealt. Not to get specific about any one of the consolidators or not, but it, it, it was a, um, you know, welcome to whatever the, the new consolidator is and here's your new commission split. The new commission split is 10% less than what it was when the old owner was around. So that didn't sit very well for a lot of people. So um, the, the opportunity, I think, is, is huge for, for those seasoned uh, insurance brokers who actually want to get, for lack of a better term, instead of getting a gold watch at the end of the day, they're going to get a pot of gold. So we built the contract, and we like to call it the triple 80, where you get 80% commission, um, <clears throat> you own 80% of your book of business. Basically, all of the hard work that you have, you could go on for you know, the rest of your career, and at the end of your career, what's it worth? You know, today's market value, you know, factors anywhere between four and five today. It's quite a substantial amount of money. So there has been a lot of people who have been um, asking about this opportunity. And, and after the conversation that we have, after you add the, the value added stuff, you know, you know an in-house marketing department, who has that? I mean, there's people who are coming from brokers who don't have any marketing presence whatsoever. You know, so your social media is hit. Um, it comes with a group plan. You know, for the longest time, certainly when I first got into the insurance business, it was awful difficult to, to get an insurance plan that would cover insurance brokers. Um, that's another thing that Randy addressed, and uh, we're offering insurance plans to, to those people who are coming on Sacklers. So, you know, at AI, we want to grow. We, uh, have, uh, we have dreams of seeing what $100 million looks like. Somebody floated the word a billion dollars out the other day. We'll see, we'll see what we can do, but I, I believe in the opportunity. I believe, it's not so much that I believe in the opportunity, but I, I own that opportunity. And that opportunity, not to say that it made me rich, but when I decided that I was going to go on and, and see how good I could get in the insurance business back in 2007, I didn't leave with nothing. I left with a substantial check 
for all of my efforts. And ultimately, I think this is something that that is available to any best-in-class broker. You know, we have um, we have an incredible management team here with uh, with Randy. And you know, one thing about Randy, if you want to know what this business is like at the highest level, um, he's the guy to learn it from. You know, another thing that I often say is that, um, you know, we're not a consolidator, we're not a bank, we are a couple of crusty old insurance guys. And, you know, that comment should resonate with, with some of the old insurance guys to realize that, yeah, it would be nice to deal with insurance guys again, as opposed to a bank or as opposed to an insurer or a direct writer or whatever that case may be. So ultimately, where I think what we're doing is we're, we're giving the person the opportunity and the tools to own their own business. So let's have a discussion. No obligation, 100% uh, confidential. I mean, prefer not to step on anybody's toes, but business is business. And, and ultimately, what you'll find out is that Randy and I are, are acting in what's in your best interest. It doesn't cost anything to talk to me. Nobody's going to know about it. And... Uh, Let's see if we can turn your gold watch into a pot of gold.